In this video, we are going to highlight the process TAM and Serendex went through to come up with a new building invention that will have a massive impact on the future of construction. It started with a great concept that the manufacturing world did not have a way to easily build. Architectural firm AO Clouds, based in New York, created an entirely unique building design that would allow people access to nature with low impact. From these images, you can see that each element is a functional assembly of three intersecting cylinders. This assembly will be earthquake resistant, small ground disturbance, and, in general, modest displacement of the nature it is meant to be joining. この3 the nature of 3D printing also has some significant challenges with such a product as there is not much strength of the liquid concrete to hover in mid-air during the build phase. The overall shape of the sphere was modified by Seabay in the CAD model to be slightly taller than it was wide so that the walls could be printed by wind sun with less chance of toppling. フルのなんかは、ちょっと違うね。そうですね。実はこれが持ってきた時に外もう同じ感じでした。え、実際外は防水こそペイントをしました。えっと、オーバーライン 1 だけど、彼らはこのオーバーハンドを出すためにそれぞれの積層の部分にスタイロフォーム、発泡スチロールを使って角度を出してますね。やっぱりこれだとこのやり方だとまああまりエコフレンドリーじゃない。だから別の方法
by the time the rest of the TAM team got there, the robotic printer was nearly fully assembled and the final touches were all that was needed to get started on printing. ツールセンターポイントが分かるようにプログラムされたロボットがどれほど素晴らしいかを知ってもらうため日本チームにデモンストレーションを行いましたこれは建物の全てを作り上げるのに必要な大きな部品をプリントするための一つの鍵となりますメディアも続々と殺到しその場でのハウスプリントを期待されていましたまず最初に行われたのは自動混合機とポンプ装置の稼働を許容範囲内で動作させるための壁の試作でした大きな建物をプリントする場合できるだけコストの低い材料を使うのが望ましいとされていますドライミックスはそれ自体で化学反応が起きるので水だけが必要となる材料になります業界ではこれを 1K と呼んでいます Most people don't realize that 3D printing concrete is actually somewhat messy and it requires disciplined cleaning processes. The prototyping location available to run the printer was in an area normally used for storage of completed prefab concrete elements, so there was absolutely no infrastructure for such work. The Hyakunen Chitaku team made a creative washout pit that took advantage of their overhead crane and front end loader. Sandex and Tam set out to create the highly overhung print with this 1K strategy, but knew, of course, that this type of material is not conducive to the geometry of the sphere without a little bit of support help. In order to build the sphere, a print box strategy was conceived. プレハブのコンクリート工場でプリントを行うことの良さは頑丈な壁面部材を利用できることですただし箱が用意されていなければただプリントするだけだったでしょうハルサはロボットがバウンディングボックスという箱の中でプリントをするための動作コントロールについて指導をしてくれました One of the most amazing aspects of robots is that they will do exactly as you tell them to One of the sketchiest things about robots is also that they will do exactly as you ask them to. While they were waiting for the programming team to create the no go zone in the software, it would have been easy to crash the robot into the newly built concrete bounding box. Sand is not ideal, but with the skill and perseverance of three teams, the material could be placed under and next to each subsequent layer. As the print builds up and out, the weight is transferred through the sand. But this technique has an effect on the surface finish of the print, similar to what we saw with the styrofoam leaving marks on the other print. The Serendex team is happy to have this more ecological technique. もちろんセレンディクス社としてはプリントする際に砂や砂利を動かす作業をするために多くのスタッフの手が必要となり建築現場での労働力を削減するという目標からかけ離れていることも痛感しています豆砂利や砂を使用する方法は長期的な手段としてはあまり好ましくありませんそこでタム社が提案したいのは世界中の建築物のあり方を変える全く新しい 3D プリント技術です Tam and Serendex co-authored the following patent that uses 3D printing as a building technique to create structurally insulated panels, or SIPs for short. The basics of the concept are that a surface can be created in which the printer can lay down a very thin layer of non-planner beads. 
A rudimentary mold was made for this proof of concept project out of plywood cut in a CNC machine by digital manufacturing team at Selkirk College. Reinforcement strategies are endless, considering the ability to put secondary or multiple layers. Tamusha deva overhang no ar tatemono o hyaseru yo accelerator o haichi shita nozuru ni niji mixer o shiyou shi 2K o mochiita print ga kano desu. 後に挿入する発泡フォームの境界として機能する通形ノズルでパネルの厚さを決定することができますコンセプトを証明するために使用した発泡フォームは手作業で配置しましたが本格的な生産ではロボットがプリンターヘッドを設定し発泡フォームのディスペンサーから配置されるようになります To create the secondary surface, the robot was used to mill away any unwanted foam. Ideally, the robot will be able to change cutting tools and mill different features in the future for the proper insertion of interface components. The robot will be able to change cutting tools and mill different features in the future for the proper insertion of interface components. 上下の層をつなぐための教材を挿入しますこれは輸送中に起こる剥離から守ってくれます Great thing about the AO Cloud's design is that all the elements are made up of versions of the same surface created by the three intersecting cylinders we showed earlier in the video. つまり、一つの型で様々なパネルをプリントすることができるのです。今回の実証実験では、2つの上部パネルと2つの地面取り付けパネルがそれぞれ共造で、一つの金型から4つのユニークなエレメントを作ることができました。This would be unthinkable in conventional concrete molding, where each element must have its own precise and expensive mold. Once the team felt they had the strategy figured out with easy to use 2K material, they created elements using the 1K material to reduce the overall costs. この素材では、バウンディングボックスのプリントができないため、トリミングの工程が必要となりました。通常はロボットがカッターで加工するのですがルータービットがなかったため手作業で行いました The finished panels are structurally more performing than the standard print panels that were made in the sandbox Even if there were only 4 out of the 12 panels printed for this proof of concept the team decided they wanted to test the mounting A footing mold as leave in place formwork was also printed A cool site was chosen and the ground prepped for the formwork to be placed. パネルを一枚一枚配置し、基礎に溶接しました。1K と 2K のプリント素材を並べてみると、明らかに色が違うことがわかります。Now, this proof of concept sits on the edge of the majestic Kootenai Lake in Canada. It acts as a wind barrier for a cliffside fire pit. Also, 3D printed, of course. <laughs>